to enable that org presents mathematical literacy, finance, income and expenditure statements. Now for today's lesson we're going to look at the exercise about income and expenditure statements. Please do this exercise, complete this exercise before uh, from weeks, week 21's handout before you look at the following video because this video will, will include the memo of that exercise and if you don't do the exercise before you look at the memo you are wasting your time. Right, so let's quickly look at the handout. Right, so... Sorry, this is the, this is the handout that you get. Uh, God, it says, make a summary in your workbook on the following, the definition of the statement of income and expenditure. And then there is an exercise about the Mifikwe family. Right, so let's look at that memo. Right, now the de definition of the statement of income and expenditure. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. Right. The uh, is a statement of income and expenditure is a document that provides a summary and uh, and it, it describes um, the money that the, per the person earns during a certain time, for instance, a month or a year, and what she sp she or he spends the money on. So it's the money that you get and what you spend the money on. It provides a way to make sense of a person's finance. So you don't just look at your bank account and you go, oh, my money is all gone. You actually know during the course of the month, uh, from month to month, what you spend your money on so that you don't get uh, big surprises. Right, now the first question is, how much did the Mafikwe family spend on electricity this month? So let's find electricity. There is electricity. And then there is question one's answer. So they have spent 350 rand on electricity during the course of the month. Question number two, calculate the total income. Right, so what we would do is we say 15,000 plus 10,000 and if there was other income items, um, we would have added that all together. So the total income for the month is 25,000 rand. Okay. Question number three, calculate total fixed expenditures. Okay, so these are all the fixed expenditure items, rent, car payments, school fees, medical aid, funeral plan, car and household insurance, car uh, savings annuity, and TABA cell phone contract. Right, now if we add all of that together, we get 10,100 Rand. We can make a space there. Right. Calculate total variable expenditure. Right, so the variable expenditures are here. It's food, 3,000, plus cleaning products, 700, plus toiletries, 200, plus electricity, 350, plus water, 200, plus fuel, 550, plus Tabas variable cell phone, con co cell phone cost, 200, Tokoloche cell phone, 400, um, entertainment, 100, and bank charges, 70 rand, and that amounts to 5,770 rand. Question number five, calculate the total occasional expenditure. That was uh, the, for the birth pipe, 500 rand and Zintle's birthday present 200 rand so that adds up to 700 rand 
calculate total expenditure. Now if you go fix expenditures 10,100, variable expenditures 5,770 plus occasional expenditure 700. You get total expenditure is 16,570 rand. 16,570 rand. Calculate whether the Mifiqui family makes a profit or loss this month. Right, so what we do is we take this 25,000, we say 25,000 minus 16,570, and that gives us a profit of 8,430 rand quite a substantial amount of money. If the Mifiqui family install a solar panel on their roof and the cost, that is 2,200 Rand, um, and the cost of that is 2,200 Rand and the monthly electricity bill will increase with decrease with 200 Rand on average, how long will it take them to see the result of their investment? Okay, so what we do is you take 2,200 Rand, you divide it by 200 Rand to see how many 200 goes into the 2,200 of the solar panel and it's 11. So therefore it will take 11 months for them to first break even but it will take them 12 months actually to see the results of the investment because after 11 months there would have been only a break-even point and after that they will then have a, a decrease in, in expenses without having to cover that um, initial 2,200 rand. If the Mafikwe family wants to improve the, their financial situation, what advice can you give them? Explain your choices. Right now uh, the answer is the Mifikwe family is actually spending their money quite wisely. Tokolojo can maybe take out a cell phone contract because she spends 400 rand on cell phone. Um, to, uh, to, to spend 400 rand on cell phone is quite a lot. I'm sure you can get a cheaper cell phone contract. Or they can put their mon monthly profit in a savings bond with a good interest rate or look into investing it. And later on, they will have a monthly income from their investment. So if they take this monthly profit and they invest it in a good investment scheme or at a good investment firm, they will start getting higher income items here because then they will start getting a monthly income from their investment. Right, now your homework for this afternoon is please complete exercise A which is about household budgets for tomorrow's lesson. Thank you very much.